but it's the effect of Shahid Khan Afridi in these middle overs. He gets wickets, he starves the opposition of runs and whenever he bowls well, inevitably Karachi Kings win. Wow, one of the stars over the past two decades for Pakistan cricket. Oh, there you go! And there's the pose, the statue for the Batar. 300 T20 wickets for Bird Boomer Freedy. The first Pakistani to do so. And what a way to get your 300 T20 wicket. Typical slider, knocks the off stump off. Another clean ball, and that's the pose. Everybody knows it, but Shahid Khan freely is doing it again. He's done this so many times. Walter now for 21, it's 63 for 5. Yeah, Shahid Khan Afridi looks like getting a wicket every ball. Jadab Khan is coming to bat, but that slider again. Afridi and knocks the off stump over. It's normally the cut shot, but this time it went inside the bat. 300. It's a class act as Afridi. He got taken down here the other day but I tell you what that is a classic way to bring up his 300th T20 wicket in style knocking over the dangerous Chadwick Walton who was 21 from 17 and starting to look okay and getting things moving for United but he's back in the hut for an early shower and suddenly half the side are out Yeah, no rhythm to this innings. And this is where Shahid Afridi is so good. Picks up wickets two for eight. In the list of most wickets. 300 in his career. First Pakistani to get there. Sunil Narayan, Malinga, Bravo, the top three. Malinga is, is sort of semi-retired. I don't think he's playing T20. He's playing but partly involved 68 for 5 there's no danger of him being dismissed so he can he can do that bowl the length right what's happening Zainab Abbas What's happening is, Ramiz, that Peshawar Zalmi, ke jitne bhi fans are here, the most ground are on the ground. And Peshawar Zalmi ka fan is Mohammed Rashid, who has picked Darren Sammy. Ka catch so tell us, what kind of catch has come from, how did you pick the catch? Yes, ma'am. It was very difficult for me. But I have made the catch for this reason, because I was playing a regular game in Pakistan. So, mashallah, I was playing a good game. So, there were 3-4 seconds of my average. That's right, ma'am. तो आप भी मेरे जो टीम ये कैच कैच होने वाला था लेकिन यहाँ पे ड्रॉप हो गया है तो आप अपने कैच का बता रहे कि जब जब मैं घर से आया था तो मैं ये सोच के आया था कि मैं आज मैं स्टेडियम में जाते ही कैच करूँगा ठीक है तो मुझे कॉन्फिडेंस था इसलिए मैंने कैच पकड़ा और बहुत अच्छे तरीके से पकड़ा हूँ मैं बहुत खुश हूँ अच्छा ये आपका कैच भी जो है वो दिखा रहे हैं बिग स्क्रीन पे मुझे ये बताएं कि डायरन सैमी के लिए हमने कल देखा था एक फैन पिच पे आ गया था तो आपका तो इरादा नहीं नहीं मेरा इरादा तो नहीं है लेकिन फिलहाल मैं उनसे मिलना जरूर चाहूँगा क्योंकि मैं उनका फैन हूँ ठीक है और मैं पिशावर दुल्बी जुल्मी का भी फैन हूँ मैं चाहता हूँ कि वो टीम विन करे टूर्नामेंट चले ये आपको पेप्सी कैचर करोड़ की तरफ से दिस वंडरफुल मोमेंटो फॉर दिस वंडरफुल गाय एंड ऑल द बेस्ट एंजॉय करें अपना जो इनाम है और आते रहें सपोर्ट करते रहें इट्स बैक टू द कॉमेंट्री बॉक्स नाउ वेल डन इट वाज अ रिकॉशे आई थिंक ही ही डिन कैच इट फर्स्ट गो बट स्टिल इट इज अ कैच एंड ही हैड अ पेपर आई थिंक इन हिज माउथ व्हेन ही कॉट दैट कैच सो रियल एक्रोबैटिक स्टफ Just been told that there are ten now of these 
Pepsi catch a crow, 10 caught. This one wasn't caught. He positioned himself nicely, I don't know. The Irishman just making a meal of it. He would have if he was part of the Pepsi catch a crow. Yeah, it was a, it was a sitter. Owen Morgan is a brilliant fielder. Oh, and that's a brilliant shot. That's gone all right. Six. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, pick the bones out of this one. Another youngster giving it some. Wonderful striking. Sure is a bit of boom boom. He's in the game. He's taking his 300th wicket. This one has disappeared over the fence from Asif Ali. Asif Ali in this PSL has really struck goal. He's hit so many sixes. That one right out of the middle. Strong striker. Cricketgateway.com and .pk. PK for Pakistani viewers and .com for international viewers. Current run rate six and a half. It's a beautiful batting strip, so they be needing more than what they're going at the current rate. 130 is what they'll get. Eight and over 142. Asif Ali holds the key to their success. He's got a strike rate of 200. It's another one, big shot. It made a big booming sound. Catch a Karol, what's happening? It's a chess man. It's a chess man. He grasped. Royal there. It is all happening here in terms of vibe and noise. Friday night, of course. And we've seen five wickets go down consistently, and then we've also seen some wonderful striking. And in terms of sixes, here's the third one, and some of our crew are under the pump to survive behind the camera. It needed a dive. It needed a huge dive from Ryle to get there, and he just chickened out. But fantastic hitting by this man. Chickened out Bazit Khan. Have you seen the muscle on that man? What? Wait till the game is over. Well, he's a powerful Bayesian, and they would not be happy back in the island seeing that effort. Ah, bad luck, Ryle. Next time. 138 will not be enough. They need a lot more fours and sixes. They need Asif Ali to be out there till the very end. He's on 18 from seven balls. It's the ease with which he's hitting sixes is quite remarkable. Keep Pakistan nice and clean and green Hoga South Pakistan. That's good cricket from Asif Ali. You've got to have a nice mix where you can hit the ball for a six and then work the field and pick those ones and twos. Oh, that's good running. It was a late reaction, late call, but he's made his ground. Yeah, quick two. And they need that just to rotate the strike or get some runs off of Freedy. freedy has been on the money straight away. It's just been handed a very interesting start. Shadab's birthday is October 4th, 1998. Afridi's fastest 100 was October 4th, 1996. Wiping the ball and making sure that it's dry, it remains dry.
Two for 17 for Afridi. Last ball of his stint. Two for 18 in his four overs. What a performance when Karachi Kings needed him to develop a story for them. He's written a great script for them tonight with the slippery conditions. Two runs taken. They're both going to prefer this uh, ball sliding on. The amount of dew around. But Afridi, it's such a handful. You think about the wet ball as well, given that equation and how he's at you because he bowls so straight. It was lovely and slow. He gave that hang time. This one he zips through appreciably quicker and just slides back in that little slider. And it's no surprise that it goes straight on a lot of the time because that's his gift. Hitting the poles. That's gone up in the air, mid off. Long on. Who is in business? Nobody. It's a six. That's a remarkable shot. Timmel Mills is no medium pacer. And these are skiddy conditions. The ball is at you at some knots and Timmel Mills can amp it up. Have a look at this. Great six. Great back. Asif Ali has been in fantastic hitting form. And that's the third time. Well, the second time he's targeted our cameraman. But the third time he's hit it down the ground for a maximum. Balance and the finish is remarkable. Asif Ali, three sixes and a score of 28 and a four as well. 12 balls and 28. Will he go again? Slow ball, that's gone! Another mighty strike! This is seriously good strike force that we are seeing. Asif Ali, star is born. Hundred up now. Everyone in that red dugout is a little happier now because of Asafali striking at 261. Oh yes. Oh no 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 no. Why did it have to happen right now when we were praising his big shots and big hitting? Timmel Mills has the last laugh. He can't believe it. Suit Jones is dented as well. Mills goes round the wicket. He wasn't happy after being smoked down the ground a couple of times. Goes round the wicket and just stuck on that back foot. Hits the off stump. Not a great shot, but what a comeback. What a comeback for Karaji. What a comeback, Mills. Great little knock ends. Out for 34, 103. Another six hitter is at the crease. This innings is gaining some steam as a result of that brilliant innings from Asif Ali. 34, he stroke of just 14 balls. It's a single on the pads, trying to tuck him up, not give him any width. That's the beauty of left arm quicks. And struck downtown, so let's just come around the wicket and change the angle rather appreciably. Close down the angle. Yeah, another lefty here. Just what uh, Bazard Khan was firing up for. More of the same. It's a doctorate of yours. I've been reading about you a lot, actually. The majestic Khan clan of Pakistan cricket. Look at that. And no wonder you're on about left armors everywhere. But it, look, it's a degree of yours, isn't it? And human movements up north. Your father, grandfather, uncles. How many Khans? How many Khans do we want? Hey? <laughs> Have a look at that, Rambo. Unbelievable. Eddie everywhere. Oh. That's up in the air. Catch it. Catch it. Mid off. Catches it. It's all over for Shadab Khan. Left armor again. Mohammed Amir gets the wicket. Shadab Khan has to walk back. Things looking good for Karachi Kings and for all the left armors. 
in this PSL3. High on the bat, too quick for Bamir. And a nice comfortable catch from Babar Azam. Oh, hoorah! Celebration time now for the double Ks. End of Shadow Khan for just eight. 105 for seven. And we're going to have uh, that timeout, I believe. Yeah, the galoot low strategic timeout here. Golutlo strategic timeout is over. Islamabad United sliding fast. 105 for the loss of seven. Let's play is the call. It's a full house there in Sharjah. Right, Sue Jones is not happy, Chappy. During the Golutlo strategic timeout, he was there with his red book. The Book of Jones. I want to spy on him too, Rambo. Get that. Spidey, get in there. He's still hiding it, isn't he? He's, he's mostly drawing some weird pictures. <laughs> it's gone well. That's that's about right. Oh, it yeah. doesn't surprise me. <laughs> gold. <laughs> <laughs> That was gold, Danny, gold. Well, that's it. What a genius. The Oracle, Dean Jones. You know, at times, simple things can be difficult to understand. And so, yeah, is equal to an out. Out is the most important one, the exclamation mark. And that is what he writes. That's what in that is in that red book in a smaller font. And he's writing that down too. That it's been shown on telly, so he's writing that down as well. So out is equal to not out. This double negative can be really scary. Whoever did that, fantastic job. That really was extremely funny. told you we were creative people yeah let's not forget in the middle of it all there's a wicket that went down before the go lootless strategic timeout a needless shot and a miss it from Shadab Khan is better than this shot gone for eight Ahmad Butt is the new man in Just two runs so far in this over. And a single of the last ball of that over after 50. It's a business end for United to get a to total that's quite healthy. They're only running at seven runs and over at this stage and well below par. What we've seen throughout is a dominating force, but they're well under par. They've changed the team around. And uh, no Ronke at the top, which probably hurt them a little bit, Wilco. What do you reckon will hurt them most? The fact that they've lost a little bit of momentum here. Do you keep a winning team? That book, that red book, the whole thing. <laughs> Dean Jones, will he tear the book up? <laughs> well... Oh, now that we know what's in it, and that he's not a great colour in her, uh, then I think he might tear. But I, look, I think you you flirt with danger if you change too much up and you come out of this game with a bad loss. If that's going to be the result, yeah, the Kings are charged. They know what they need. We've seen Zalmi charge for two games and get through. You can pick up or lose momentum at the right and wrong time. So. I was all for United making some changes because they earned the right to rest players and what have you, but don't lose badly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I also think it could work for the other. Another reason. Uh, they've had five wins in a row. It's an opportunity for them to experiment. Sometimes you get complacent as a team, so getting a loss just before a playoff match and an important game could just pull your socks up as a team.
to get you ready for that big match. But it's surely something that they would have discussed maybe with Ali Nagvi and said, listen, we've got a squad of 17, 18. Let's give some of the guys a go. Let's rest people like Mohamed Sami, people maybe like Luke Ronke. But I, I get the momentum bit. I get that. Yeah, but I wouldn't have rested Ronke unless he was injured. You, he's you a batsman who's on a roll and right. momentum's everything keep with batting. Going. You keep a groove going and he missed out yesterday, didn't he? He didn't, didn't no. get a big score, but no, I, I would have kept going. That's worth a shout. shout. That's worth a shout. Maybe just going down. So, yeah. to rest a batsman unless there's a niggle is yeah. a mistake. To rest a bowler like Sammy is a big tick because yeah. he needs yeah. just a bit of time off just to get some fuel back in the tank. To elevate Mizbar al Haq up the order, yeah. good move. Give him a chance to get some runs. But as I say, if you... It mightn't affect them at all, but the, if you if you lose badly and it just bursts a bubble on a roll that you're on, in these competitions, it could be costly. Look at that. Look at Timal Mills in the death overs, Darren. He is less than six. It's going the, at 5.85. He's the best in the tournament. And that is the best in the tournament, isn't it, Slats, would you say? That there? Well, without doubt, the best we've seen so far from a, an economy rate and all sorts of factors, really. 5.85, that's, that's outstanding. Yeah? It is. Didn't really play in the last game, and to come back in this game and do the job yet again for his team. He's picked up an important wicket. There's been some powerful shots from Islamabad United. Valley in particular, he was brutal with his stroke play. Yeah, so impressive. We've seen some real cameos so far. He's that player that could get you home in a final. Well, you know, Tamal Mills, last season, oh, that's bad from Karachi, was a marquee signing for the IPL. And he was a very expensive product, 111 for 7. Well, Usman Shimwari began the, uh, the gradual erosion of the top order of Islamabad when he removed the inform Dumini. And he's got good numbers, 1 for 11 in 2, he's back for his third. Oh, he's locked onto this. I don't think he's got enough on it. Man underneath it. Oh, he's dropped another one. How many catches do he see get dropped tonight? That's Babar Azam. Go to the back of the class. Yeah, the standard of catching has dropped tremendously. This is a second setter put down by Karachi Kings in this innings. Baba Azam, he's excellent with the bat. They can't believe it. What are you doing? Well, they're the owners. You don't want the owners doing that, are you? <laughs> it's just not cool. Yeah, we've seen two really bad drops today, and it won't please Mickey Arthur. You need no. to have all that humming. You make short work of it, don't you? You take those two catches. They might be all out by now, and you're chasing 105. Yeah, there'll be a few scratching their heads. One of them might be Tom Moody and Wazim Akram in their Dubai hotel. Every ball they're watching here, you know that. Six catches dropped today, and this is... Well, I don't think we dropped three before that in the entire tournament. It's been the, the second half of the tournament. The first half, we were operating at 90% catch rate. And we compared it to all the other T20 leagues around the world. And, and it, was it was the highest. Top. It was on top. I think the lowest was the BBL in Australia, actually, at 76 it's dropped in the second half. It's probably running at 75-80% now. Pepsi catcher crawl. Well, we've had one today. Zainab interviewed the catcher. He was down the other end. So that's the 10th catcher throughout the tournament. That's a, that's a good slice. That's 10 into a crawl. 10 into 10 million. Yeah, so all those catchers, they don't want any more catchers in the deck. Why don't we stand in the stands? Because you'd drop it. You can. <laughs> Go down there. I'd have Darren next to me. He could catch off the rebound. I'll try. <laughs> Not like Ryle, a cameraman. 
the other offender of a drop catch was the skipper himself, Owen Morgan. He made a real meal of it. But it happens. Maybe it's the dew, the wet ball, cloudless sky. Sometimes it's very difficult in those conditions to catch the ball cleanly. One thing is for sure here, Darren, 113 on the board is just simply not enough. Not with the scores that we've had. Oh, he's knocked him over. Shinwari. He gives Asraf a little pat. But that's only after he's done the damage. He's such an effective bowler. Shinwari. Balls wicket to wicket. That's why he will get a lot of his dismissals via disturbing the stumps. On this occasion, he does exactly so. You miss, I hit. Bang. Second. The man who's really got to steer them here, so Zafar, he's just got to try and get bat on ball. That's all he's got to try and do. And Shamari's just got his tail up and he's had it up ever since he rattled Germany. Yeah, look, it, it, it's good to see because he was the offender of that no ball the other night that actually cost them because it took it to the super over. And I can't imagine how bad he felt. Bowling that ball, caught long on boundary. The game was over, it was Kings two points and then no ball, super over, lose. Same bowler and he's wind in the sails bowling beautifully. So it's great to see, two for 13. He charges in. I like him. Gohar's come in here at 10. I saw him bat in 2014 in Dubai for the under-19s in the World Cup. And he batted Pakistan to a win against England. He can bat. But maybe on another night. <laughs> I was going to say, he's had maybe two plays and misses. <laughs> but yeah, look, it's a, it's a tough one now. The current run rate, one three four. I reckon, DG, you know, if you're chasing anything under 140, I reckon 150 or less, and it's a, an easier run chase, definitely. Yeah, they will need to think about batting out all the overs as well. Two wickets in hand for Islamabad United. Every single run adds to the pressure in the run chase for Karachi Kings. In fact, it wasn't just uh, Zafar Gohar with 37, it was Ahmad Butt with 26. They both combined to beat England that day. There you are, I told you could bat. 17 gone, 113 for 8. Not tonight. Timal Mills. So we're into the 18th over and Islamabad, who of course will keep their position as one. They will stay on top of the HBL PSL, but if Karachi win tonight, they go second, and it'll be this matchup again on uh, Sunday night for the first playoff. And Karachi Kings are 79% going to win this, going to win this. Yeah, and I think it comes back to our point when we sat down about momentum and what you carry. Well, the next time they play off against each other is one and two, looking to go straight to Karachi and be in the final. And if your last encounter was a win against this team you're playing against now, you, you take that advantage, I think. It's just that feel. Right, now just to give you an idea, Slats, we were talking about um, what numbers they've got to get, and Mickey Arthur would know this. If Islamabad get to 130, just say 130, then Karachi have got to score 115. If they get 115, even if they lose at 115 or 116, it'll, they'll qualify. The net run rate. So, Tom Moody, was in background? That's the numbers you've got to... Keep in your head. Slapped. No run. Yeah. Uh, and the variation there, and we can keep going with them. If, if they lose and don't lose badly in that scenario, they're not going to be second, are they? They're, they're in the four, but they're yes. not second. But they win two points second. Quetta would stay second. Peshawar. Peshawar. Stop now, eh? It's been a long day. It just gets you confusing. I, I don't know. So. How, many, how many teams in this competition? Nine? Is it nine? <laughs> <laughs> K 
Yeah, he's going to get four for this. That's a sort of horizontal slap. Stand and deliver. Tennis like. Mahmoud Butt. It was a late delivery. Not much pace on it. Off the back of the hand. Then slap back past the bowler. First boundary for Butt. They got a good view right from there. They've been up all night. They don't sit down in that HBL box. But what Tamal Mills normally brings to the equation is there. That variety of face that is so slow. And he's quick as well. And he's a big unit. Well, the ball before was the same ball and went down the ground for four. So he's done well to bowl it again. He just got it fuller. So great example through our ball tracking, or Hawkeye, I should say. Just the different speed. So normal speed is the one ahead of the slow ball. And you can just see that it's 140 to 107, but the depth and how much more time you've got to wait for the ball when it's a slow ball. Yeah, the so adjustment by a yeah. batsman, 33 kilometers per hour difference in speed. So you imagine, and you know, DG, that if you think it's a normal ball and it's the slow ball, that's the deception, and duck, in the air, off you go. Well, that was me. 18 gone, 120 for eight. Still coming round the wicket. Now Ahmad Butt can bat. He's got four first class fifties. And he whoa goodness. Bit of dissension with his partner. And he nearly took uh Shumari out. Well it's like this commentary box, isn't it? We've been together for many weeks and we're getting a bit short with one another and we're seeing it with the players then. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> Speak for yourself, you Australian. <laughs> well if I had a ball I'd be lobbing it at you to get your attention yeah. like who was it? So hail the other What's day. this? What's this? No Oh, oh. <laughs> Not at all. We're a well oiled team. Team close, aren't team. we? We're team. close. Doesn't close. Matter. Like that. Come on, Slats, you expect a little bit of attitude now and again. Occasionally. Occasionally. Oh, we've just got to keep reminding A Beno of what's happening each day. That's the only thing. He's making it up, Darren, isn't he? Yeah. He's hit that. He's crunched it. And may want to look at that. He did well. It's Owen Morgan down there. I think he's a pretty decent fielder, but they umpire third umpire may just want to have a little look at that and yeah, this was screamed off the middle of the bat he's done a really good job there just flicks it back before his legs go into the boundary spilled one earlier so making up Owen Morgan the captain of this Kings team he's looking for a sponsor there's not a mark on that bat What bats did you use? Good ones. <laughs> some days they were good, and some days they were pathetic. Weren't they pure, weren't they pure English willow slats? L yeah, I had the English, English bats. Yeah, I had the English willow. Mm. Yeah, no, they were quality. Right, it's gone straight up in the air, man underneath it. A 3D takes the catch. Afraid he had time to look at it, and that little white ball looked like a meteorite in the sky. Well, it's a simple catch. Shida Freedy showing his experience. Settles under it with no concerns at all. Yeah, good legal delivery. Shinwari. This guy is doing the trick for Karachi Kings. Length delivery. Didn't quite get the pull shot, probably beaten for pace. The big man, boom boom, makes no mistake. Celebrations all round. New man is Stephen Finn. And Ahmad Bat will want to take and keep the strike. Now the the one thing that Islamabad want to do here is use all their 20 overs they're running out of wickets this is the end of Zafar Gohar Afridi makes the 
the catch and uh, Shimwari now three for 16. They still got eight balls to go here. And Sahina's crying to get bowled out inside 20 overs. Exactly, it will help Karachi Kings if they can do that in terms of their net run rate. Get all 10 wickets. Goodness me, that's a good hit from Ahmad Bhatt. Oh, it's been a good result for the Kings. They're doing half the job so far, aren't they? They've dropped a couple of chances, but the result is fantastic for them. They're set for an easier run chase. We saw 170 all get chased down, record run chase in the PSL this year in the earlier game. The Jews are a big factor, but they've done half the job. When this over finishes, the next one, doesn't matter if it gets to 140, they've done a fantastic job and it's up to the batsman to finish it off and qualify. Well, Shinwari has got three for 17. He's bowled like a gem tonight. I'm not sure if it's my uh, eyesight, but I think he's gone on a longer run up every wicket he's taken. He's extended his run by five yards. Look what he's running from. Oh, that's got to be out. That has got to be out, and he gets it as well. He's got a bag of four. It's Steve Finn has made a review here he thinks he's got a bit of wood on this i'm not so sure he has but that big size 11 boot came down and there's no no ball this time from shimwari no he's not going to make the same mistake i don't think there's any chance here that is thundering into his toe that's going to hit middle stump that is all over they had a review so i suppose you'd send it up just in case but there's no worries there all out one two four and as his name suggests, that's the end. Well, you, you're going to want to review it anyway, aren't you? But that's hit him straight on the toe. Yeah, as plumb as you like. The only hope there for Stephen Finn was if there was bat on this one. But nowhere close to the delivery making contact with the toe going straight on ticking all the boxes he signs off with another wicket Usman Khan Shinwari confirmation but he will have to go so Islamabad United all out for 124 124 all out Islamabad in 19 overs Steve Finn first ball naught 124 So Islamabad all out for 124. Let's get a Karachi port, uh, perspective of this. Zainab. Well, 300 T20 wickets uh, for this man. You can never really keep him out of the equation. Uh, Lala, you have a lot of time. As much as a match, your performance is so big. Well, Alhamdulillah, uh, I know crucial. <laughs> I think it was very easy to qualify. But our fielding has been very upset for two or three matches. Bahut upset hue. Fielding की वजह से जीत रहे थे जो outstanding fielding थी हमारी लेकिन fielding की वजह से हम इस situation पे खड़े हैं अल्लाह करे कि आज का match जीते और आगे जाएं हम लोग अच्छा पिछला match में वो थोड़ी सी intensity कम थी लेकिन इस match में नजर आया कि पूरी team is geared up for the game और due due factor जो है उसके बारे में क्या कहेंगे नजर आ रही थी हमें काफी ball पे जो है slip करी नहीं बहुत ज़्यादा हुआ हुआ है गीला हुआ हुआ है काफी गीला हुआ हुआ है और I think कि baller ballers को बड़ा credit जाता है कि इस condition में इतनी अच्छी bowling की एक इतनी अच्छी team जो consistent रही है अपनी performance में पूरे event में बहुत बढ़त performance इस्लामाबाद की रही है लेकिन अल्हम्दुलिल्लाह great I wanted to celebrate the wicket loss. Good luck, Lala, with the Karachi Kings. All the best. Thank you so much. Yes, it was a mark of respect when he got Mizbah out. But uh, this is the Islamabad card. Dumini 4, Hales 11, Walton 21, and Mizbah 19. Asif Ali got them going a little bit with his 34. Ahmad Butt 13 at the end. Only six extras. 124 all out with an over to go. Yeah, uh, good effort in the field. It was interesting going down boundary line. You could feel the energy of the Kings. And look at Usman, four for 17. Two wickets apiece to Ofan Jr. And a Freedy and one apiece to Amir and Mill. So just a, a complete bowling effort. 59 dot balls in that innings as well. That's half the uh, total. It's uh, 
10 overs on their own. So Islamabad 20, 124. Karachi need a modest 125, but if they get to 109, they are safe. We'll be back for the Karachi innings very shortly. <laughs> Now they need to bat properly to win this to qualify for the playoffs and if they win this then both these sides will be playing again on the 18th in the first playoff one versus two 125 runs to win from 20 overs so first things first need to get over the line with uh, with no accidents Yes, 125 is the target, but uh, Darren, they know that, uh, or Karachi know that a total of 109. Once they get there, their net, rate, their net run rate is safe and they will get in, so they'll qualify. Yeah, I don't think that will be at the forefront of their mind. As a team, they'll be thinking about getting this target, winning convincingly, priming themselves for a playoff match on Sunday. If they do go on to win, so they need to think process and not outcome in this situation. Yeah, it's about maintaining your focus. Make sure that you put up a good fight. Forget about the batting performance. It wasn't such a great performance missed by himself. Was it at fault because he didn't have any rhythm, consumed a lot of deliveries and just killed a little bit of momentum that was needed in those middle overs. And Steve Finn will be entrusted with the new ball, I would have thought. They have opened with Samit Patel in recent matches, but there's no Samit Patel tonight. And this top order for Karachi has just faltered in recent matches. Uh, you've got uh, Bora Manzur making another appearance for his side. He hails from Karachi, 31 years of age good strong hitter right grade of 102 best of 51 and his partner is 32 years old today happy birthday Joe Denley 10 matches and 157 runs I think it, it's a very good opportunity for him to get into some kind of form because he's he's been off the boil a little in the last couple of matches this is not a taxing total to target so we'll have time to play a a good proper innings bit of legs left left arm spin in the shape of Zafar Gohar Samit Patel is not playing today so he's a handy replacement I still remember that that devilish ball that he delivered to to take out Darren Sami what a delivery it was Halim Dar and Khalid Mamour are the two umpires the cool and cool umpires well the last time he opened the bowling Zafar Gohar, he took three wickets for United. So it's a ploy that United like to go with, DG. Yeah, it's an opportunity for him to stake a claim in the playoff matches. Six. Samit Patel, Six. most senior player on his team, rested in for this match. Exposing the stumps straight away. Pura Manzur has got something in his, in his mind. He's got a plan for the left armor. He took three wickets against uh, Zalmi. It was Dawson and Sammy, Darren Sammy. And he picked up an LBW to make it three wickets on the night. And he turned it and he bowled beautifully. It's gone a bit flat because he's bowling with the new ball. I think he's at his best when he's flighting the ball and creating indecision in the mind of the striker is more natural that way his natural variation is to flight the ball 
not worry about darting them back into the stumps. And having some issues with gripping the ball, getting a little bit of dirt on his hands to dry his fingers. It's just not coming out of the hand at all. He's got no control. Brand new ball has a layer of lacquer on it, and it's, and it's like a, a clear like a polyurethane lacquer on the ball so it's difficult also bowling in the power play can have its own issues if you're not really bowl in in a power play situation you want to be just a touch defensive at times go flat ball on that leg stump line avoid big shots big hits The other challenge for him is he's got one fielder beyond the 30-yard circle straight down the ground. He's got a long on and a mid off. So you want to spear the ball into the right-hander. He takes any chance. He wants the batsman to hit in that mid-on region. Field changes for Joe Denley. Well, they know they're defending a low target here, but the one thing is Lombard want, don't want to do is to lose momentum. Keep the winning habit. That's more like it. Let's get into that groove. Hit the good link, try to spin the ball across the stumps. Not worry about the, the straighter ball. cricketgateway.pk for Pakistani viewers and of course international viewers can watch the game exclusively live on cricketgateway.com looking to muscle him through the offside for a Manzoor and that ball followed him very strong bottom-handed player for Ramanzo. Likes to cut, likes to play the flick shot of the pads. And you can see he's trying to give himself room to hit the ball through the offside. Ahmad Bhatt has been given the new ball. He can be good as well, right arm fast, medium it says. He's 22 years of age, so he's young was put away for, for plenty in couple of overs then made a good comeback picked up a wicket and so that settled the nerve let's see how it is today his captain wants him to pick wickets with the new ball and got to be a little straighter how they deal with the due factor that's another important aspect of this bowling performance from united need to take it out of your system just get on with it i think at times the bowlers think a lot about the due about the conditions being a little aggressive against them forget about all that this is this you've got to bowl them out simple as that no it's a very strong offside field there's a slip in place so a clear plan to bowl outside the off stump just feel when you're too wide outside the off stump you remove the chance of getting lbw or even bold might want to say close to that off stump or a little bit middle and off not a bad option if you're looking for wickets early on oh that's a spanking shot stood tall and hit it so hard through the offside joe denley a real birthday present for him a gift offered to him yeah far too wide i was talking about him being very close to the batsman when you give a batter wit like this it's easy for him to put away denley makes no mistake he's the birthday boy first boundary for him i think every fall will be applauded by salman iqbal the uh, owner of the karachi kings wants to bring his boys to Karachi for the final 
That's good batting. Dealt well with the the in swinging angle. The advantage, of course, for finishing second, first and second, is that you play in the first playoff, which is Sunday in Dubai. The winner of that match on Sunday goes straight through to the final to Karachi. The winner, or rather the loser, will play the winner of three and four. Third and fourth. A second bite to the cherry. He likes the cut shot. That's flat and fix. Khuram Manzoor opening his shoulders and being fed on the length which he likes. Too wide, too short, and he pays the price. This is easy going for Kuro Manzur. Gets a chance to open his eyes and his arms as well. And that's why he's strong. That's a good positive start by Karachi Kings. No hiccups. 16 without a wicket in 1.5. Zafar Gohar and his second over. No, that's the wrong line. He's, he's talented. He's better than that. Just going too too fast. And, and on that middle and leg stump line, he's got to readjust, reboot, revisit his, his line of attack. That's the pressure when you're bowling with a small total. Sometimes slow bowlers, they're afraid to flight the ball, to turn the ball. Think about pushing it through fast and flat. He just wants to drill him through the offside. That's why he exposes the stumps every now and then. For a Manzur. If he's marginally offline here, Joe Denley will attack him. That's the nature of Joe Denley's game, is to uh, hit bowlers out of their rhythm, and he'll do this to Zafar Gohar if he's not on his good line here. I think Misbah has got to rework this strategy. Got to understand the strength of your bowler and then ask him to do that not to burden him with a different line of attack there you see most of his deliveries are pitching on that middle and leg stump line and not enough attacking balls being delivered by attacking you want him to bowl from the middle stump channel and spin it across towards the mid off sorry towards the off stump oh another flat six this time it's Joe Denley, it's far too easy, all too easy for the batsman, I guess. Zafar Gore has got to do something about this line. It was straight. It was a risky shot. If Denley didn't make contact with it, I'm sure he would have been in for the LBW shot. But he's a good player to slow bowling at the top of the innings, Denley. That's his first maximum. And the crowd shout, Karachi, Karachi, Kings are looking good to win this. Yes. Yeah, 96 runs to win. You've got to start better than this. Have attacking field. Look for wickets. This is defensive. This is as if you're playing with a total of 180. And dots will do the job. Dots really will not matter. Wickets will. Get it, get it, get it. There's a lot of batting in this Karachi King side. Babar Azam, Colin Ingram. And Owen Morgan. It's a 
fair bit of batting and of course you've got uh, Shahid Afridi there's no Ravi Vapara in the uh, Karachi King side for this match but they've got plenty of resources to choose from and of course Imad Latim is still rested from that bumpy took on the head after three overs twin he's in now Trusting his back foot play and trying to hit the ball down the ground. The charge is on as far as Khuram Manzoor is concerned. Yeah, this guy has a lot of international experience. Steve Finn plays for England. He's played a lot of test matches for England. 36 to be exact, 125 wickets to his name. Good record as a wicket taker. This is T20 cricket, Alan. Uh, bounce it over the infield. Fahim Ashraf does well. Slides across. Wet outfield it is because of Dew. So it was a good stop. It's just the bounce here. That uh, beat backward point. Fahim Ashraf, good fielder. Look at the slide. That's got to be about 12, 15 feet sliding using the greasy surface because there is dew here and he's got the uh, the cap bald good Yorker We're, he's wearing the Faisal Mahmood cap Fahim Ashraf because he's now the leading wicket taker the amount of droplets it's insane wow I can actually have a shower in dewy conditions so much of dew around getting it to bounce but there's not been lateral movement Right, it's 95% in favor of Karachi Kings. 92 of 98, you'd give him that. Well, that's the last thing that Multan Sultan fans needed to see was the 95-5. Couple of wickets here and changes the complexion of this chase. Even though it's a low total they're chasing. Out, oh, finger is raised. It's slow death. Khuram Manzu there asking his partner whether they should go for a review. I think he's taken it. Now he's shuffling across. Joe Denley, what is he saying? What is he thinking? They've gone for it. His survival chances are minimal. The only thing I can say about this will maybe going down the leg side. There was no issue there for height was it going down the leg side I'm still seeing that leg stump so that looks pretty adjacent well I'm giving that out that looks out to me just uh, middle middle and leg I don't think there's any ultra edge on there it slaps into the back thigh not the front pad and he's crouched down here Kuramanzur okay he's gone some way over here impact in line and it's hitting the stumps so Karachi Kings that review is overturned and they lose a review and the finger goes up Karam Manzur is gone Steve Finn has made an early strike here for Islamabad United Manzur 50